So sports photography has been a big part of what I've been doing as a press photographer and what has been my sort of little forte, I, I suspect, of, of my part of being a press photographer has been sport where I've excelled the most and had the most interest. Started with Rugby World Cups, the first one in New Zealand, and then I moved on to rowing world championships and then Olympics and swimming world championships, athletic world championships, and now I'm up to 10 Olympics, five summer, five winter. Um, I love them. They, uh, you know, they're a test for everyone. You're like the athletes, you're up against the very best in your field. So um, it's, it's pressure, but it's a great, great work environment. I was a little taken aback, to be honest. I didn't, didn't see myself being uh, brought here to Amsterdam to judge this, you know, the top, top awards in our field. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to work for quite a large organisation, see quite a bit of our photographer's work, but I want to see everyone else's work and how everyone else is approaching sport, how they approach feature side of sport, what they think is a good action picture. It's, it's been quite interesting and it's quite good to see how some photographers, you know, obviously there's the peak action photo and there's some great entries in that. And there's also the photographers who see the, the moment after that or the story behind that. I uh, know we've had some major sports events last year, you know, with the Olympia and Winter Olympics and uh, the World Cup. So there's clearly moments in there that were great. But also there's some photographers saw some other moments um, beyond that, those moments, which again, are reflected in some of the finalists. So it's, it's going to be different to past years where there's been a clear sports action picture and then a clear sports feature picture in different categories. We've had to combine them and the results reflect both of those. There weren't that many true sports stories entered. Um, I'm not sure if that, that, the naming of that category stopped a few people entering, but there were people that entered portfolios of work, which were great. In fact, fabulous portfolios of work. Um, maybe it's the age we're in now. There's just not so many stories being shot by photographers who don't have the resources now that they once did, um, the way the industry's gone. But I'm sure there's more out there. And I, I would like well, this people to enter more into the sports category that. Um, a little bit of advice for them. Um, if they're going to do black and white, stick to black and white. If they're going to do colour, stick to colour. Don't mix them up. I think. The judges find that very disconcerting, um, swapping in and out of colour and black and white. Um, another bit of advice, I would, I would encourage photographers to get a respected colleague or boss or manager to have a second look at their entry before they submit it. I think they've got nothing to lose by having someone they trust sort of critique their work. I think I and my fellow judges both well, three of us, actually, the three of us all felt that we were looking for the wow moment. To be a winner, it had to be unique, and there's a reason why it was unique. It's because, you know, some of these events, there's hundreds of photographers, but one gets an image because he's, he's seen something that no one else has. And that's, that is quite important for the judges to see something a bit special about an entry that makes it a worthy winner. So uh, we hope that the rest of the... Um, our colleagues see what we saw in these images when they when the finalists are announced next week.